In this video, I'm gonna be going through everything you need to know about chicken dust baths. And stay tuned because I will be going over how to make your own dust bath and how to make one for the chicken coop and for free range chickens. Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Chickens do some crazy stuff. That's why we love them, right? But what in the world are they doing when they're flopping around in the dirt, acting like wounded animals. Well, if you witnessed your chickens taking a dust bath, you may have thought they were injured or dying. And after a few moments of panic, you could tell eventually that they were intentionally taking a bath in the dust. So what is a dust bath? It's sort of what it sounds like. When chickens take a spa day in the dirt, they fluff up their feathers and find a place that has fine dirt. They flop and roll and kick at the soil to make sure it gets well just about everywhere on their bodies. Usually, Chickens have a favorite location for dust baths and will return to them when needed and when conditions are right. Now, don't confuse a dust bath with a mud bath. Chickens like silty, dry dirt that is usually out of reach of aerial predators. So naturally, they will pursue your lovely landscaping for their dust baths. Now, why do chickens dust bathe? Well, they do it for the same reasons we bathe. First, to control the oils on their bodies. Chickens have oil glands that can get a little out of control. They preen their feathers to destroy distribute the oils on their bodies, but when they need to tame their oils, they take a dust bath to absorb some of the excess oil. The second reason here is not why we take baths is to get rid of mites and lice. Lice and mites are external parasites that can cause many problems for chickens, including itching, feather loss, anemia, and even death. Luckily, chickens do know how to prevent this and treat mild infestations on their own. Dust can suffocate, dry up, and kill these unwanted mites. There are also other diseases that can appear as the same symptoms, so it's always important to make sure to check out your chickens for lice or mites as the root cause. Now, number three, I can get on board with. I love taking showers, so I'm with the chickens here. They sometimes just do it for pure enjoyment. This may be pure speculation, of course, but if you've ever witnessed a fat, fluffy hen taking a dust bath, it just looks like they're on cloud nine. So usually, they pick a sunny spot, safe from predators, and spend about 50 15 to 20 minutes just rolling around the dry dirt. Their eyes are half closed, their wings are relaxed, and they're often bathing in a group. So do chickens actually need to take dust baths though? Well, as you can see, they do not need to take dust baths to be clean and happy, but if you've ever had to keep chickens locked in their coop for a few days and then release them, one of the first things they do if you've noticed, it's happened to me, is they seek out an ideal dust bath location and get to work. So while chickens in commercial industries who are in hen houses, caged or confined, do not have access to dust baths, they are more at risk for mites and lice actually. So they're usually medicated rather than being allowed to bathe themselves as they would in the wild naturally. So in other words, it's polite to allow your chickens a space of their own for taking dust baths as they see fit. Now let's talk about how to make a dust bath. So so if you don't provide a dust bath for them, they'll just make one. Even in confinement, your chickens will attempt to take dust baths anywhere that it's slightly dusty. They just crave that dust bath. Instead of leaving your chickens up to their own devices, you can make an attractive dust bath that will keep them happy, clean, and out of your landscaping. You can use dirt from around your yard or use diatomaceous earth and get a double whammy dose of might busting power. In general, give your chickens a silty, light, dusty bit of earth that they can just dig down into. Dust baths created by chickens are usually an inch or so deep and bowl shaped. Now let's talk about making a dust bath in the coop. If you keep your chickens confined with a chicken coop without a run, you should make room for a small dust bath about the size of two to three chickens if possible. You can use old wooden boxes or crates to fill with your desired dust or section off an area with lumber. It's wise to just keep dust baths away from food and water because chickens make a huge mess, which I've talked about at length in almost every single video, and they'll fling dirt everywhere. 
and if it's close to feeders just expect to be cleaning these containers much more often than before just never place them around them and also never place your dust bath beneath roosts or they will fill with droppings quite quickly now let's talk about making a dust bath for free range chickens so you've decided it's time to give your chickens a dust bath and call it their own rather than allowing them to just use and destroy your flower garden really they prefer flower gardens and mulch and have destroyed both of mine many times i now allow them on one of my old raised beds where they naturally break it down for me saves me a backache from all the shoveling the trick to make a dust bath for free range chickens isn't necessarily in the materials needed it's about the location and training involved to get your chickens used to their new dust bath if you don't mind doing so place your dust bathing materials where your chickens already like to bathe this can be near their current favorite location or right on top of it slowly you can start to relocate the new dust bath and your chickens will follow wherever it goes as long as it does not leave them exposed to aerial predator attacks and always make sure your chickens are not in a vulnerable position when you set up their new dust bath somewhere in the sun but partially under a bush is most desirable for your chickens the bush provides a quick escape should a predator threaten to interrupt their spa time large dust baths are easier to make for free range chickens because you have more space to work with so don't skimp out on the amount of space you give them especially if you have a large flock if you're starting a new dust bath in a completely different location from where your chickens usually bathe you will have to do your best to introduce them to it feed them nearby and give them plenty of reasons to start to notice their new bath make sure you have soft powdery dirt there that's the best method of introduction if you enjoyed this video please be sure to check out this one over here that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening if you find our content interesting if you learn something new please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel and with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon